Hello honeys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. As you can tell from the title, today we're going to be testing out the newly released Patrick Ta Major Skin Hydrolux Luminous Skin Perfecting Foundation. Sometimes these product titles are just getting longer and longer as the years go by. I mean, how am I supposed to remember this? For short, I will call it the Patrick Ta Major Skin Foundation. She's stunning and it's heavy as hell. I was so torn between shade 16 and 17, but I went for 17 in the end. I actually don't know why I went for 17. I think 16 was out. Stock. 16 is a peachy neutral and to be honest maybe it would have been better for me I don't know and then 17 was a golden peach I am more of a neutral shade I think this might be a little bit too warm the thing that shocked me the most was the price this foundation right here cost 52 pounds one of my most well-loved foundations is the house lab skin tech foundation and this one costs 42 pounds I do have a dedicated review on this but I'm almost halfway and this is well loved every time I wear this foundation you guys are asking me what have I got on my skin? The thing that stands out for me for this is that it's got 20 plus skincare ingredients in there. It's weightless, it's got more medium to full coverage, um, but you can completely control it. And for me, it's like the shade match. This is one of the most best shade matches I have in a foundation. And I use 330 medium cool. It does say cool, but on the website, it's more like a neutral tone. So it's perfect for me. This one, which is 10 pounds more, I mean, 52 for foundation. I mean, that is pushing it, isn't it? Isn't it pushing it for foundation? Am I alone in this? This says it gives a filter like finish, a lit from within look, light to medium coverage. And what is so odd to me is that it says you can use this as a dewy primer or layer to achieve a fuller coverage finish, a primer. That's so confusing to me. So then what are you supposed to put on the top if this is the foundation? You can apply this 52 pound foundation as a primer. And then what are you supposed to put on top? It's a foundation. I'm gonna put this as a foundation. I don't know. Honestly, I love me some luxury uh, skincare and some luxury makeup, but there are some prices that are, it's just pushing it for me. I've purchased both of these foundations myself, okay? Found something amazing. This better be better because of the price. I must say she's beautiful. The packaging is beautiful, but this looks like it comes in 30 shades. When I look at the swatches, there is a good distribution. I'm seeing good distributions, different tones. The shade range is good. In between shades looks look pretty good. And when I struggle to like choose one, I feel like that's good because I feel like a few could go on me. So anyway, I'm gonna swatch this. She's definitely on the liquidy side and this is a swatch. She's, it might be a bit warm for me. Here goes a swatch. I mean, blended out, this disappears into my skin. I think I could get away with 16. This would be my, more my summer shade, 16 would be my winter shade. But I would still wear this now, like that blended into nothing and do you know what, it feels really nice. Oh and I also got a blush to try out because some of you guys asked me to try out the blushes and see if they're worth it. In terms of the cream bronzers, I wasn't a fan of the shade range. I just couldn't choose one that was for me, so I was like, meh, can't be bothered. So I went for a blush instead. I'm just, I'm not going to even bother with primer, I'm just going to go in with my SPF like that I usually wear and I'm going to use one full pump and kind of distribute this all over and I'm going to just blend this out with my brush this is applying really really nicely the shade is very wearable for me it is on the warmer side for my liking I think I could have definitely gotten away with 16 but the shades are out of stock but just looking at the shade right now would I wear this like I would like it's not overly orange or anything like it actually blends really well into my neck and everything so yeah not too bad on the shade match it looks good it looks very skin like it's very glowy even when I had nothing on my skin and I was swatched it it did feel like on the wetter side on the more um, illuminating dewy side it is lightweight like i don't feel like there's much and do you know what the coverage is okay i do have scarring here it's having a, a hard time covering that i'm just gonna try and put a bit more and see if it covers it this is definitely light to medium coverage for sure so if you're looking for something with coverage this might not be the one for you see from my hand like where i've applied the foundation i had nothing on my hand and it's very dewy in itself it has a glow what it looks like I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. I did most of my makeup. I wanted to show you guys the blush. So in the blush, I got the shade Oh She's Different. It was giving that burgundy reddish vibe. It comes with like a plastic lid here, which is handy to separate the cream and the powder. I guess it's also to help make sure the cream doesn't dry. And I've just put it on one cheek. I mean, I'm scared of blush blindness. I'm not gonna lie. So I paid 
32 pounds for this which okay fine it's a high-end blush you get two consistencies cream and a powder and plus the shades aren't the same so which is good i mean there's nothing in the description that is like it's just like any other cream blush patrick tar is well known for his makeup application and his makeup skills i mean he can be a fave and whenever i've seen this used it looks bomb and to be honest it looks so soft and diffused on my cheek it was so easy to apply as well so anyways i'm gonna grab the cream here and i'm just gonna blend this you can really just like lay this however you like it's so light like it's so weightless it has a bit of a glow to it i also like to put some on my nose as well and then i'm gonna take the powder and kind of brush this all over i don't know how i feel about laying them i think i might use these separately you don't really need to layer them you see how glowy it is it is very glowy you just have to bear that in mind if you're gonna get this and even the base it's really it's definitely more glowier than what i'm used to but i love that I love a glowy base. So far I'm really really liking the way my base is looking. It's very light to medium coverage, it's very skin like, it's very dewy. If I were to compare it based on my first impressions to the House Labs one, this, this is more glam, it's more full coverage, the shade matches better for me and this is more you know intense skincare whilst the patrick tar one is more you know even though it doesn't have hyaluronic acid in there i don't even know if it does but it's giving that in my mind it's very plumping dewy skin like now did it need to be 52 pounds i'm sorry but i don't think it needed to be 52 pounds i don't know what the hell they're putting in it but it is unnecessarily priced high that is what i have to say about the price <laughs> now the blush i actually really like it i like the shade i don't know i've been loving these ready berry shades for blush i just think they're so complimentary on brown skin it's very glowy on the cheek blush blindness is a thing people let's not pretend it that it isn't so i try to be very careful not to put too much don't put too much but she's stunning okay i will definitely be using this i'm glad i had this in my makeup collection currently 6 21 it's a bit late in the day but i'm gonna try and wear this at least for four or five hours and just see how this wears there's definitely some this luminosity to it can you guys see but it makes my lip skin look beautiful i prefer it to the house lab ones i don't know i don't have oily skin so i don't know how this would hold on an oily skin it didn't specify what skin types this is great for i have dry skin so my skin's loving this you can really see my skin i'm gonna head off see you guys in a bit hey guys so it's now almost midnight i've got work tomorrow so i'm gonna go to bed i can't even remember when i checked it out but i think let's say like six hours or just under six hours guys i don't like it i will show you why i don't like the foundation i do really like the blush the blush has stayed really well and like you can see it if anything i kept walking around and i was like did i put too much so the blush i would definitely use and to be honest the price point on this is just more acceptable do i think it's worth all the hype i don't know i've tried so many affordable blushes so you can definitely get great affordable ones but do i prefer this to let's say my hourglass unreal liquid blush no formula is nice and i like that i get two shades and both colors are really nice i probably rate this like a 7 out of 10. The foundation however is not the best. It's not my favourite. It does not beat the Skin Tech, House Lab Skin Tech foundation in my opinion. I mean they are different. This is very dewy and to be honest it transfers quite a lot. So you, if you're gonna wear this I feel like you need to powder or use some sort of setting spray. Coverage is definitely light to media. It's glowy. I would not say it's good for oily or combination skin. I just think my biggest issue with this foundation is I'm just asking myself why is it 52 pounds? I don't think I own a foundation priced that high. And for it to be mediocre, I don't I don't understand. And do, do you know what I'm saying this because it didn't work for me. I I'm seeing so many people love this foundation. It's just not great on my skin i'll show you guys as a close-up but it's come off like so in like so many places it's patchy and i don't even mind if it's light to medium coverage i love like skin kind of dewy base makeup you guys know me i've kind of diverted more to more like natural everyday makeup so the coverage and like the dewiness of it is not even an issue i just think the wear it's the way it's worn after only just six hours normally i like to do more longer wear tests i just think yeah there are definitely better ones out there for me like i don't know if you guys can see it's like gone it's like come off all here and here and on my nose it's all gone my forehead's fine but it's like the lower half of my face 
and if anything my bronze has gone patchy it's really weird i haven't done anything different to what i usually do in terms of like just putting my spf applying it with a brush and just doing the rest of my makeup how i usually do is it bad i wouldn't say it's bad I think a bit of primer, a bit of setting spray can fix this. But for the price point, I think that's my main issue and it needs to be perfect. And for me, it isn't. I don't know if it's just my skin or I don't know what it is. So I probably rate this, I'm kind of like torn by it, like a 5 out of 10, which is not good enough for £52 foundation. This though, this is bomb. The House Lab Skin Tech Foundation and it's cheaper. I don't think I would have said one day that House Labs is cheaper than another foundation because I think this was the most I spent on the foundation. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the foundation. I'm a bit disappointed, but I'm glad I found a good blush. I also would say that if you still want to give this foundation a go and you're going by my shade reference, I, I'm definitely a 16 because 17 is more my summer shade. It was a bit more on the warmer side. So I think 16 would have been a perfect match for me. I believe that one also has more of a neutral tone whilst this one has more of like a warm undertone. And I'm more neutral. If you want more of that warm undertone, then go for the 17. So yeah, I hope you found this review helpful. And yeah, thank you so much for stopping by. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.